Impossible is a word that came from the wrong dictionary. This word is just a simple word starting with an I and ends with E. But in real, it could give a man his death in his life. It gives you the feeling of being last. But we have got better ways of living. Living life as if you did what you came to do and you had no regrets. I wish life could be easy and possible like that. But I wonder if someone has a heart that never hardens. A temper that never tires. A touch that never hurts. Life gives us opportunity to regain hope and sometimes we just don't avail it and do whatever we want to do but sometimes light of hope is just not enough one must have sunshine freedom and a little flower and together it makes a life which one cannot forget the reward of our work is not what we get but what we become life forms a voice for a sudden and forever happiness and that was my sudden happiness Abnormal psychology by Richard Gross. Sorry? The writer. Oh. Did you know Richard Gross was the first writer to write a full length book on abnormal psychology? Really? Yeah. It was the same book. It's a copy actually. He was the first. Seems like you know much about psychology, my friend. Yeah. Samir Rana. Ali Sheikh. Hello? Sir? Where? Tomorrow? Well, okay. Uh, I'll see that. Maybe? Well, fine. I, I gotta go. Okay. And now, who was expected and what happened? A call of friendship
we used to meet at the same shop many times. He used to tell me about psychology and life. I was very keen to learn about psychology. And one day, he took me to feel the nature. Yeah. Nothing is better than nature itself. And so it was. We used to watch sun as it drowns into the water. And its essence leaves us. It was tremendous. He used to share his life and I used to listen to him for hours. As if he needs to be heard and he wants to speak it out. I was brooding how my perception changed. I used to be jealous of the world and now in this jealous world I met a great friend. Sometimes he just reads my mind off and tells me everything about my own self. It's like he knows me more than I know myself. The moments we spent were astounding and I was wishing that the time would never end I wish that sudden happiness never ends Hello? Where are you man? I've been waiting here.
the hell were you man? I've been waiting here for like two hours. Anyways, check the weather man. Like it's in the rain. I'm leaving. Like I'm gonna believe you. You're right. I'm leaving Ali. My family is leaving for California and I have to go with them. What do you exactly mean? Then he left me. All alone. Like a cactus in the middle of Sahara Desert. I felt so lonely. I cannot forget that moment. My whole life. I used to laugh at people who used to cry in friendships. It feels so true when one is experiencing it, but when it's not here, it seems like. Everything has ended, and suddenly, my sudden happiness was lost. Her? Who could she be? Was it my friend? And pretending to be gone? And why would he do that? I forgot my sleep. I forgot myself. I try to get used to of things and start new life. But it was never easy. I used to read book from which our friendship started. But things like these make me very depressed. I try to stay away from these things. Just listen to loud music, change genres. But something I never forget was the feeling of nature, an immense feeling which was a gift to me by my precious friend who was no longer with me. But it doesn't matter, 
because it left me a note. And I taught myself that this time I shall succeed in my life. It really helped me a lot. I started learning new things, new philosophies, new techniques of starting once again. I used to go to park and watch everyone there, enjoy the most of it. I watch different faces and I think about their different lives, different perspectives, different problems. I realized that I was not the only one. Brilliant dog. Was it something I said? That was a very awkward moment. I felt really reluctant. So I wanted to apologize. But she never came. Until. I'm sorry, I was just. That's okay. I hope I didn't break any of your eggs. Well, good thing I haven't bought any yet. Oh, uh, excuse me? Uh, I want to apologize. I know. I was confused what she meant. One day, we met at the same place. She knew everything about me, leaving me astonished and full of questions. She invited me to a lunch. Well, I hope I didn't make you good. No, no, not at all. Ali, I want you to meet my friend, Mina. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Heard much about you. Well, tell me about it. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a Amazing, isn't it? This is amazing. Ali, 
Ali, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? Nothing, just memories. What is that is killing you? This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, nothing is better than nature itself. I know it seems like it's been inside myself for forever. Then let me help you. I'll help you recover your pain. Things never work. They will. I've been the same. You have been. So we can help each other, can't we? And I told her about Sam. She listened to it as if I was talking to myself. While I was talking to her, it felt so good that I couldn't describe. It was one of the best feelings I maybe had. I let it out. She was right. It was the thing which was killing me. It was the thing which was not letting me be what I am. Really helped me to gain confidence in myself again. We spent too much together, enjoyed, laughed, something happened which I never thought it will. Sudden happiness rises again and this time it was a happiness which let me love her. And here came the new beginning, a new life. Madam is leaving for California and I have to go with them. I know. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Something never changes and so does my luck. It was a complete disaster. I mean, I gave everything to my friend and in return, what did he give me? Betrays me on my back and the girl I loved, I always Thought love is evil, and hence it proved. 
I was so happy when I had not fallen for anyone. I hope I never made friends. I hope I never loved. Going somewhere? How did you get in? Another these? Listen to me. I was worried about you, so I sent my friends to keep a look on you. I'm not lying. The girl that helped you in the hospital was my sister. And I know you would do something stupid. It was an accident. Well, I certainly hope so. So you were here all the time? No, I was in California. I swear I was. everything for you. I used to think about you in California as well. It wasn't a single day I didn't think about you. All right, thanks man. See you. There's a wise statement about friendship that friendship is just like a rubber band. It stretches as much as you wish, but if you release it, it will hurt you the most. I was happy that my friend came back to me and he was worried about me. He did the best thing to save me from doing anything even but the only thing he doesn't know is that he took away from me a feeling which was really special to me. I never told him about my feeling because he might sacrifice himself for me I don't want that because I see him much happier now the good thing that came to me was that I have learned and experienced so many things. It made me find myself, the inner me, which was a good thing. I love to watch them like this. It makes me feel good. The best thing was that I hoped for one friend and I got three. I enjoyed their company but I enjoy myself the most now. Nothing is better than nature itself and so it is. It's the best friend. God has gifted to mankind and we must try to wait and understand the depth of it. Sometimes we have to go beyond our imaginations to find our answers. But sometimes 
the answer is just in front of us and we just don't realize it. My answer was mom. Sudden happiness.